John, uh, Wrexham tomorrow. How's the week been for the lads? Uh, it's been a good week, a productive week. Obviously, um, I'd regard a disappointing result down at Maidstone. Uh, we performed well below par, and well below what we're capable of. Uh, however, this this game is a, a really good game for us. I think it's come at a good time. Um, our home record's very good against the, the better teams and uh, hopefully we can uh, put on a performance tomorrow. You mentioned about that disappointing on Monday. Dean uh, tends to say in his interviews that togetherness is a real key part of this squad. Going into these last four games of the regular season, how important is it for the squad to stay together and lift each other in these tough times? Well, it's really important. I mean, I think it's been our strength throughout the season uh, in the high times and, and obviously getting us to, to come out of the, the, the poor runs that we've had. And we've had a few. And if you look at the... The rest of the teams in and around us, they're, they're, everyone's faltering. It's, it's such a difficult league. It's a, a relentless league. It's unforgiving, and um, you're not at your best. You, you know, you, you you get beat as simple as simple as that. Has been a relentless season, and obviously tomorrow we face league leaders Wrexham. They've been on quite the season. What challenge do you expect from tomorrow, and how can we uh, combat that to try and get a result? What challenge? Well, listen, they're currently the best team in the league, and rightly so. They've been phenomenal all season. A lot of talented players. They can hurt you from vet, you know, many different areas. Uh, so, I'd expect we're expecting the best of what they've got to bring, and um, you know, let's let's hope it's uh, an entertaining game, but not as entertaining as the last one. Uh, and a sellout crowd tomorrow at the Hive. What what sort of occasion will that be for the players? Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I think um, you know when when the crowd get behind you, and I don't know. <laughs> Let's not forget there's going to be a lot of supporters of Wrexham here tomorrow as well. But I think there'll be a phenomenal um, atmosphere. And um, it just, just goes to show what Wrexham have brought this year with the, the interest and the, and the owners and everything. I think it's um, it's really, really been exciting having them in the, the league this year. But we're expecting a really good crowd, obviously. F sell out, as you say. Uh, and let's hope they can make lots of noise for us because th they, they can make the difference You know, when the going gets tough. You know, and we say about the big crowd when players we've, we've been playing Saturday, Tuesday for what seems to be forever at the minute. Having that crowd behind you gives players that extra little boost, doesn't it? We'll take anything. It's all about the inches, and I, I mean, you know, we're at the business end of the season. We're, we're running out of games fast, so every game is important. And I think their support just could give us that extra edge. You know, I'm sure of it. And uh, finally, we've had a few injuries over the last week. Is there any updates you can give us ahead of tomorrow? Oh, we're all good. Um, I think there's probably only one or two players that got niggles, but they'll be back soon. So we're in. You're always going to get that this time of the year. Uh, but other than that, we're in really, really good shape in terms of uh, bodies available for tomorrow. John, thank you for your time. Thank you.